Hey my friends, welcome back to Rosie's Creative Wings. Today I want to come and show you uh, my flip journal that I um, had started working on and showed in one of my previous videos. How I put some of the pages together, but um, I did say I was going to come back uh, with the journal fully made. Um, so I wanted to come and share that with you. Uh, so this is the journal here. And this is the flip journal. So um, I do have a video where I show um, where it's plain um, before I added anything to it, um, how I put the pages together. If you want to see that video, um, I'll link it down below. Um, so it shows the pages um, without nothing, and then I start to layer them. So um, I did do this behind the scenes. Um, so here is the journal. So I just did a cheesecloth uh, closure, and here is the cover. And so I added some um, collage under and layered um, some beautiful ephemera uh, from different places. Some of it is mine, some of it is from Stamperia, some of it is from Timu. AliExpress, so just gathered all of my ephemera and just um, started layering there. Um, I did add this charm here, just made a little hole and added this. Um, so this here was actually silver. Um, I did dye it, made it look somewhat rustic. So, of course, is the Tree of Life, which is one of my favorite, favorite um, symbols. And so I did dye it with some of my inks and made it look some, somewhat rustic so that it can match the, um, the journal. Just bring it up a little bit so you can see it. And then I added this one here with the heart. And that looks a little bit rustic there. I did add a little bit of varnish after I dyed it, um, inked it up so that it doesn't come off. Um, and so as you can see, this is um, how the journal is now. It should have been a little bit flatter, but I did try to maintain it flatter. But of course, as you go adding to it, it does become somewhat a little bulky. But Despite, I think I did, I kind of like um, resisted a little bit and didn't put as much as I usually do, just so that it could keep its form. Um, so this is it here. The back, I left it plain. Okay, so let's get into it. So here on the first one, I did show that I did do uh, this pocket here. Let me just fix this here, sorry. Um, I did show where I put this pocket here because it did have like a little flip part here and I was undecided, but I made it into a pocket. And so this is the first pocket here. And then I do have um, some ephemera, some like pieces that I made out of playing cards. And this is one of them here. Um, I added some of my rustic paper and I did laminate it. And then here I added some old vintage library cards. I mean, one library card. And then I also added an old, old postcard from 1943. And here's that really pretty paper in the back there. Then here um, in the first page behind it, I did layer some um, musical paper. This is, uh, I think this is uh, a Ravans right here. Um, and so here, this is some of my vintage um, 
paper that I scanned in from my vintage books. And so I took them here. I added this stamp in the front just to give it some interest. I added the flower and just bring it up so you can see a little bit of it. This one is just like a little flip. Behind it has a little pocket and it does have um, those little tags that I showed in one of my previous videos how I made these with the negatives of the die cuts. So I put one there and then this one opens this way as well. And I put the smaller one in there. And you can see the paper in the back. I'm just going to clip it so that it doesn't flip open. Then you open it this way and here I have a very pretty image that I um, purchased from Etsy quite a long time ago um, and so she also had uh, the poppy um, flowers these are some from um, Dollar Tree stickers I added those added one to her hair added that one up there and then I added the white ones down in the bottom um, and I thought the image is so pretty there's collage in the back. Uh, then here I have a uh, pocket, kind of like a see-through pocket. I like to do these kind of pockets where you go from one end to the other. And then here is a tag. It does have a piece of trim on the top. And this is a see-through pocket where I um, laminated this butterfly and I just uh, attached it to the folder to make a transparent pocket and then I um, added this tag that I made with some die cuts um, in the back it has some of that beautiful vintage paper that I like to work with and it says integrity And here it has a little trim. And then here we have another um, kind of like a flip. Let me just take this off flip tag. So within that flip tag, you have another tag. And this is one that I made. Um, it has uh, some washi tape in the back, um, some layering of some ephemera, and that beautiful um, sunflower. And I stapled some trim on the top. And it goes inside this tag. And then behind the tag, there's a pocket that I made out of um, a die cut. And this is one of the um, cards that I made from the negative of the die cut. I showed this uh, in the video where I showed how to play around with your negatives and make really pretty pieces for your journal. And it says inspire, aspire, uh, aspire, believe. And I just sewed around it. And then we go this way here, and you have another pocket here. And so here I have a tag that I made. Um, so I just kind of printed out a printable over dictionary paper. And I thought that was so, that came out so nice. I think I'm gonna do that a little bit more and play around with that. And then I just added some pieces of ephemera and um, some flowers just to give it interest and make it look pretty 
and I just added a piece of trim that I stapled. And in the back, um, coffee dyed paper, so you can use or I can use as um, joining the space. And then here, I also have a piece of this is a uh, vintage record keeping page from 1942. Um, this is also uh, from one of my vintage books that I scan and take pieces off out of um, for my journals. And so this is uh, someone that was keeping records of all their um, budgets from 1942. Very, very interesting. So I'll just put it behind here. Then here we have another tag that I created. Um, let me just take this off. Um, you have a tag here. In this tag, there's this really pretty frame with this lady in the middle. Um, and then it kind of is like a tuck spot. And then this is one of the tags that I made out of the negative of the um, die cut. Very pretty simple file. That's the back of the um, tag. And then this tag flips this way. There's a pocket in the back. And then you have a card um, that I made out of, journaling card that I made out of a uh, playing card. You can see faintly behind. Playing card, and then it's also journaling space in the back. Um, so then this opens this way, um, and you have uh, this is a flip of a laminated um, little piece that I put here. So again, I laminated this butterfly and I put it in as a flip there. And behind you have another piece that I made with um, plain card. This time I didn't laminate it or anything like that. I just added um, really pretty uh, pieces behind her. And she is like a vintage lady from 1940s, 50s possibly. And then you have your journaling space at the back. And also another old vintage letter. And this is from 1949. I did um, scan it in and put it, copied it on uh, one of those vintage papers from Amazon. And then here I have some uh, vintage checks. And this one is from 1926. This one I actually um, copied it on vellum, printed it out on vellum, sorry. And this one is from 1928. And I also printed it on like um, brownish beige paper. And I do have the original of these. I just do scan them in and reuse them, so. And then here I have uh, two little tuck spots. And here I have some of the cards that I made, kind of like the um, I forget what they call them. I always forget what they call these. The um, anyway, let me just show you them. You'll get the understanding of it. Specimen cards. That's what I meant. Specimen cards. Uh, but uh, giving it a twist, of course. Um, so these are the ones that I showed also in one of my videos. If you're interested in knowing how I made these, I'll link that video down below so you can check it out. These came out really, really pretty. So I did laminate. If you look at the window there, it's laminated. 
and then I just added the outside and these little papers here um, I show in the video you can get these at Timu or um, Aliexpress uh, and here's another one they're kind of like little pieces of scrapbooking paper and then this is the second one here well this one is totally laminated and again that's that pretty pretty paper and this is the back And then here it says, spread the light, be the candle or the mirror that receives it. Dear old world, you are very lovely and I'm glad to be alive in you. It's that. Um, let's see what else I got here. So, and then here, you open it this way. And you have this really pretty image here with these ladies. They have beautiful flowers on their heads. Um, Another one here. I added some dictionary paper in the back. It says here, I'd rather wear flowers in my hair than diamonds around my neck. And then here I have um, a flip page. This is actually deli paper that I printed on. And um, use it as a flip. Then here I have two more tuck spots. Um, I have one tag here. And this right here is actually a die cut um, with this design on it. And then this is the tag that's in there. Just a little tag. And it has some cheesecloth on the top. And here's another tag here. The same design at the bottom. Can't really see the one at the bottom because it's a little bit lighter. But there you go. Um, and then this is another small tag. With some canvas uh, that stapled on the top. And this one says, She stands still and waits for the sun to shine. And this one says, Never underestimate the value you hold. And let's see what else. Let's see if there's something else. Yes, so we go again. We open it here. This is just a, paint, a page that I designed. I couldn't fill every single page even though I wanted to with pockets and things like that because um, it was getting a little too bulky and um, I wanted it to close okay without issues, without it taken away from the journal. So some of the pages are just um, decorated. And so I thought this one was really pretty. So I just decorated it like that. And it says, if you look the right way, the world, the whole world is a garden. And then we have this one here as well also with flowers. Um, this is some scrapbooking paper that I just cut out the middle. Um, and I'll show you what I did with the ones in the middle. So here it says, love is like wildflowers. It's often found in the most unlikely places. Love is the flower, you've got to let it grow. Love is the flower, you've got to let it grow. There are always flowers for those who want to see them. And then you open up here. And here's another flip page. And I don't know if you can see, but in the middle there, the flowers that I took out of here, I added them here. I'm just gonna bring this up so you can see. Wait, let me just close this here. So you can see this part, Chris. You see the flowers there? Let me find it on. Look something like this and then here you have like a tuck spot and here I have a tag that I created um, the image is not mine I just added it there and I did a little bit of collaging I added the butterflies and on the back um, you can do journaling there's space there to write then you have another old check here. This is from 1895 and it is from New York City National Bank. That's so interesting. Added that there and then you have another old postcard and this one is from 1939. Just put them in there. You just close it. 
And then here on this side, there's another pocket like the one I showed before. I did some stamping. Actually, this paper here is one of my um, background papers that I created. Um, so I added this part here. This part here was also a flip. It had a tiny flip, so I decided to keep it and make it a pocket. Um, and so in the pocket here, I just have a journaling card. This one is from Stamperia. That's very really pretty. Space to journal on the back. And then I have another playing card that I just played around with. Um, I did add some of my rustic paper in the middle. And I did laminate it. And then we also have another vintage letter here. And this is from 1943. And book page at the bottom with some collaging. And I think that's it, my friends. Do I have one more? Um, I think that's it. That showed all the paper, all the pages. Yes. So this part here is one of the papers that I did a background on. I just made it, enlarged it, and put it there. So. And this is my flip, my folio journal. I hope you liked it. Um, let me know what you think. I do think I want to create another one, but I do want to maybe create it so that it has some sort of a small spine. That way when I am adding tags or ephemera or pieces to it, um, I don't feel like I have to be limited to add those things. And so, although I really, really like these journals, you can add so many things to them because um, it does have a lot of pages. Um, you do have to keep in mind, though, that you have to be limited with what you add and not make it super bulky because then it won't close the way it's supposed to close. So, But I really enjoy doing these types of journals. I love the secret compartments. When you think you're done, you're not done. There's always like another flip to do. Um, so yeah, I think my next project is as far as journals. I want to just do another one. Um, again, I did mention more than once that this journal was made with three legal sized papers. And so I'm gonna do it the same way. I'm just gonna try to make the spine just a tad bit um, wider so that I can have a little bit of more um, leeway to add um, you know things if I want to and not worry so much about the format I don't want to lose the format of it so I'm gonna try that and see what that comes out to be um, yeah guys so this is my journal finished um, let me know what you think. If you want to see the journal before everything was added, go to that video um, that I mentioned. I will link that one down below. I'm also going to link the ones below where I made um, some of the ephemera that's in here. Um, check them out. See everything before I added everything to the journal. So, yes, guys, this is my journal. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let me know what you think. Your feedback will be appreciated. And I will see you in the next video. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.